it is officially D here, and you guys are watching It's Officially D's Main, where I take you guys on a little journey through my videos and teach you how to turn your room into something truly not so ordinary yet inspirational. So that's basically that's basically what we're going to be doing today, but we're going to be focusing in each episode certain parts of your room, whether it's the biggest part of your room or it's the smallest part of your room. We're going to turn your whole room into something inspirational bit by bit. So make sure that if you want to see all of these videos and episodes like that, that you are subscribed. So hopefully I'll have a new inspirational video up every single Saturday, if not a Saturday space Saturday. Hopefully just like that. Make sure to click the link down in the description and be subscribed to my vlog. Also check out my website because there will be a tab for this and my website just helps both of us out and you'll know about me, what's going on because it's a blog post. It's a blog feed post. If you guys want to see more of me and videos like this, go ahead and click that like, share, and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the desk part because that is what we're going to be focusing on today. So we're going to turn your ordinary desk into something inspirational. So let's do it. Okay guys, for this project you need Christmas lights, printed inspirational quotes, string, tape, tacks, optional dry erase board, a hole puncher, fake plants, a white shelf, and white fabric. Okay, so first things first, we have to put everything out of the way, move everything out of the way, and then we are going to reorganize, and we are also going to be putting things in new places. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this table, and I'm going to swing it on this side right here. And ugh, I'm actually going to, we'll leave it right here for a second because I actually have to clean this up. So yeah, let me clean this up really fast. Okay, so I actually decided I'm gonna leave this right here because of what I want to do um, with the other stuff in the future. So basically, we're gonna leave this here and now I'm gonna start setting back, putting this back on the desk so I know what to do. The string, the tape, the paper, and the hole puncher. I like putting it on like this little thing right here because it has a lot of support right here and it also gives me like a lot of space to have what I want sitting up. So that's why I don't sit like right here. It's because I use this area to work. So instead of sticking the whole thing in there, I didn't want the top to get hole punched three times. So I just folded the side of the paper and then stuck it in and it got hole punched directly in the middle. Basically what I'm doing all the way over here, sorry you guys are gonna have to bear with me, I don't have a tripod. What I'm standing it on is like one of my light mounts and I just took the little black cap off and then screwed my camera onto it. So sorry about that. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my three sheets of paper and stick this string in through it, through all of the holes. So I'm gonna use about this much of it. So we're gonna cut it like right here. Ugh. Crap. But, so we have that now. And then we'll work on the lights after we get up the paper and um, everything taped up. Okay, so the reason, so like I said, the reason why I don't have this computer right here is because I need this space right here. I'll go ahead and just, what I recommend if you're doing this by yourself is just to go ahead and hold it, take the tape, and be holding it in your hand like this. I know you can see, so let me do that. And just go ahead and attach it to the end and just hold it and then take it like that. So, if, like I say, if you don't like how the string looks, you don't have to do it. If you want, you can actually, um, well, you can't stick it through the Christmas lights, but you can just like just tape it onto your wall. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and slide it this way. Hey, know what I said. Put the main thing that you want to be right here actually in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to untape this because my motto is to do what you love. So I want that one down right here. There we go. Got it. There we go. I'm gonna take this little piece and just slide it on over to where it matches the point right here of the other one where it looks like it's about the same and just go ahead and tape it. Okay, so this is how this looks so far, but now that I see it, this one looks on the camera. I don't know why it looks like that, but I guess it's because it's smaller, but this one actually looks like it's higher. This one right here looks like it's higher than that one, but it's actually not. They're the exact same. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and get out the lights. 
Okay, so besides the lights, you're also going to need your um, tacks because that's all I hang on on the wall. You can hang yours any other way, but that's just the way I use mine. So basically, I have my pole running to where I sleep because when I like to turn on the lights without actually turning on these lights right here, I just stick it into my thing and it turns it around all the way over there. So basically, it will turn the lights on all the way throughout my room without having to get up and plug them up in two different spots. So I just have it connected to one, so basically I just have this um, arm. So I'm going to go ahead and start where I want this to be, which is right here. Okay, back to the base of the area. Basically I got these cups from, I got these little cups and stuff from the Dollar General. So I just basically put my stuff in here because it's helpful. So what you want, you can clean them out if you've already been using cups or you can just get them out of your kitchen. But I got this from there. It just something to hold all my pens and stuff like that. or something, I would paint this white actually because I don't like how it looks clear. Okay, so now basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these right here and I'm gonna slide them this way. Okay, so basically I slid it next to that. So if you don't ever, like if you don't actually have stands or your parents won't let you hold up a shelf, this is just what I did. So basically this is where this white cloth comes in. I mean, you don't have to do it like this because if you don't get like that space right there, you can just push it back some. If it's dirty, I would take that dirty part and hide it like I've been doing from you guys. <laughs> And I'm kind of using this desk right here as like a secure point for this thing. Okay, see, I got this from Target for like 20 bucks. Piece to see, I don't know. This is, this is what my dad got. He got this from someplace. I don't really know. But we're just going to sit that on top of that. Now be careful with this stuff because you obviously don't want to knock it down. Where I had it, I had support and keeping it up, but now I don't. So I don't like that and then just set it on top. So basically, all I have going on now is I'm running my light through the. Um, plants, but now I'm not like ah. So see now I'm not liking ugh, How far all this is from there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to recenter everything and just slide I don't really like how that looks so to have something over but ah, I gotta plug this doy Okay, you guys, so this um, is the end of the video. So, this, so basically, I just took things that I had at home. I went and looked for things, some things I already had, some things I bought. This is basically what I bought from Target, just in case you wanted to know where I got this from. So yeah, this is how you can make whatever you have at home into something cool and inspirational. So basically, this was free. All of this was free, except for the, obviously the stuff you had to pay for, but 